Hello everyone, thank you for watching Cutest Country TV. Today we are checking out something really cool. Um, we have a professional snowmobiler coming in tonight to do a signing, Tiger Hibbert. And um, we got Snowcross going on here. So they actually got us to use for display uh, one of the brand new Ram Rebels, um, which is really cool. I think this truck is a couple auto shows, so it's cool that we have it here to look at it. So we're just kind of going to go around and do a first impressions of it. Um, first off, I mean, the front, you can tell that it is completely different um, than the last Ram that was going out. We got the cool LED lights coming in the headlights, which are really cool to see on the Rebel. And then it just has a really nice aggressive look to it, um, which I think when you're going to the Rebel model, you know, I don't think somebody wants a ton of chrome or a lot of polish or anything like that. They might want some nicer materials, but they don't want it to look blinged out. They want it to be a little more rugged looking. So um, that's really cool, the hood. As a new design, so it's got these louvers in the front, which look like they release air, um, get a little more airflow in there, cooling off uh, the engine compartment. The cool thing up there, which we haven't seen on the 1500 models, I mean, on some of the sports that we had coming out, they had you know a couple vents in, in them, but never anything like this on the top, and then it has a really aggressive uh, middle crease there. Looks like this one's got a sunroof. Oh, and it's panoramic, which is awesome. And then, um, yeah, really just looking over and sitting in it, the interior is really cool. I noticed that, you know, around the steering wheel uh, and around the vents for the air and the heat, um, some nice accents, looks like a metal type finish. Um, this one is like a really dark red with black, which looks pretty cool. Uh, it's nice to see a big infotainment system like that um, in, in the Ram. Um, I don't want to say the other one was outdated. It wasn't, it was really good, but I'm sure this one is going to be a lot better and it looks very sleek. Um, and yeah, all the materials in here are cool. I noticed that there's handles uh, on all, all four doors to get in and out, which are also nice. Um, and then the back, I'm just going to get in real quick. And the front, the front seat's in like a position where pretty much anyone could sit. The back, you know, I mean, you just have a ton of room back here. Um, definitely an improvement over last year and then even compared to some other ones I mean it almost feels like you're in a mega cab Ram and uh, so I mean that's that's really nice and then it's nice to have the panoramic view from the back and then yeah a bunch of USB ports and charging ports um, an actual outlet back here yeah this is definitely a nice place to be cup holders in the middle and then I'm sure if you're not using it to store people nice that goes up the same way as the other one um, you can just pull the seats up and you have a ton of room. So dogs live happy back there, other kinds of pets, toolboxes, gear, whatever you got going on. It's nice to see the uh, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrek on here. Definitely one of the best tires um, that's out on the market as far as for an all-terrain type tire. It looks very aggressive, yet they wear really well. Um, they wear well on the Jeeps, they wear well on the trucks, and even on the heavy duties. You know, the Power Wagon's been using, um, you know, the style tire for a very long time, and it works really well on it. Um, and yeah, it's also nice, the back bumper has like a cool finish on it, almost like a black textured powder coat finish, which is really cool. Um, the exhaust pipes are finished in like a midnight black gloss type thing. I'm just excited for the inline six. And of course, the tow package, you have the four point and the seven point uh, trailer hookup there. And like that, just a really nice functional tailgate that um, even if you lift up halfway and you come back down, it still has some pressure there. Some of the other tailgates on the market, they would drop down, but you know, if you let it go halfway, um, it wouldn't have dropped down nice and slowly. It still would have taken an impact. So it goes up and down really nice. It really doesn't take much effort at all. And um, yeah, just overall really cool truck. We're looking to have it here. If you want to get a chance to stop by today, it is going to be here probably only today, and then it's going to go back to Michigan or wherever it lives. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about it quick while it's here, we'll try to answer them. Um, but yeah, have a great day.